Thank, thank you, Audubon. Thank you so much. And I've been asking myself ever since I was told that I was to receive this award, which was, why me? I reached for the Holy Book for answers. Now, as a Southerner, you have to realize when I say the Holy Book, of course, I mean Gone with the Wind. <laughs> Gone with the Wind, the most racist and the most slain, uplifting book or literature that has ever been written or made in our history. Lewis really single-handedly decided to stand up and save that beach on behalf of the Bahamian public. That was indeed a grassroots movement. And save that beach on behalf of the Bahamian public. It was going to be a high intensity development that would shut off the beach from the thousands, tens of thousands of people, of native Bahamians who use that beach. It would have also destroyed probably one of the best known coral reefs in the world. protected forever on behalf of the people of the Bahamas, but also the birds and the wildlife. This is the pathway that our ancestors took into slavery that led into freedom. This is sacred soil, no question about that. We will not surrender our history to that man called Lewis Bacon. I have made it very clear that I believe Mr. Bacon is a liar because I was there during the fight 14 years ago and he was not there. He certainly did not lead me. If you go to the Bahamian Historical Society, you do not see anything about Clifton. How can you talk about a historical society and you have nothing about what black Bahamians did in this country? I want the historical society to tell his story, his story. Lewis Bacon, and if you're watching, listening, or don't know me, you are a liar. Nothing that you said was the truth about your being the leader. Why would he want to go to the Audubon after I went to UNESCO and got it recognized as a World Heritage Site?
Louis Bacon, you are a liar. Even Mr. Bacon is a liar because when I say the Holy Book, of course, I ain't gone with the wind. <laughs> and you certainly will be gone with the wind. <laughs>